competition. One of these can have a fun. Do <laughs> 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 you know how proud he is of you, son? Do you know how proud you made your dad? Yeah, no, old no, no. Scoring a goal at Wembley. Oh, yeah. huh? like, you know, I promise you for it. I want to be an architect. Yeah, so I wish I was oh, you. know, that's what we did. Wow. Well, 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 I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out. I'm going to <laughs> no, I wish you were a seat. Why should I tell you? Like proper stand up. Yeah, yeah. No, like proper. Oh, no, you'd be amazing. It would be, be too amazing. good. No, too good. The thing is funny now, you should get him in bed. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I yeah. stuff about actually in Kinky Fung. I read it in your books. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a dungeon in there. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, I'll tell you the truth about that. They wanted it, they was doing a film about a man going to prison and they and they got permission from the home office to film me when I was in there and they was gonna film my wife and then film me like what I was like when I come out and they knew I was getting guilty because I had seven witnesses against me. Yeah. So they knew I was getting guilty and they wanted to see whether prison works and all that, right? But on the day before I went to court, I thought, fuck it, I am getting you weak. I'm going to prison, whatever happens, so I might as well just go around their house. Yeah, all seven of them. On the night before I go to court, and go, right, yeah, you see all this lot here? Put me in prison, it's not me you got worrying about, it's them. Hanging babies out of the knees and not going to paying for your kids to go to fucking college. Oh, these people are fucking mad. You idiot. No, you know, yeah. and, and, and it worked. They all went to court and went, I don't want to do it, don't want to do it, don't want to do it, don't want to do it. So they filmed me doing, being naughty, and debt collecting, car repossession, and all that. And I showed them all the things I was doing. Yeah, rent a clump and all that yeah. beforehand. Then they were going to film me going to prison. Then they were going to film me in prison if the wife stayed honest. And if, whether all my mates were still there when I come out and whether a prison worked. That was the plan. So they filmed me doing all that. And when I went to court, they went, not guilty, because no one went to court. <laughs> I love that, the jester <laughs> thing. Did you really go into court? Yeah, man. What did the and judge chin, say? Chin the copper No, I know. Well, well, what did the right. judge say? Right. Right. Like forget, forget, forget what yeah. I was wearing. I got caught with a bent copper, and he went, no, Dave's not paying me, I'm paying him. That would have got me shot. Yeah, no, no, I definitely, right. no, I know, I remember. Right, 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 right. So, whether I wore a fucking shitty outfit or not, I mean, fuck all, listen, I'm going to crucify the gun. And what he didn't know is, I bugged him. I taped him. Yeah, no, I know, I, I read it, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> you want to buy up my cop when I told you? I so, walked past all my pals, you're going to find out who I am, then you're going to be shitting yourself right. the whole time when I get out, because I will get out. Right, right well, then. my answer to my one is this. I've heard that they've got you right now. I answer it with one. Be someone in prison somewhere in South saying, go and go and smell. It's not that. But there's nothing. There's Frankly, no one. You could have said a name. Do yeah, no, Frankie Frankie got the hump because my doorman ran off of his wife. Oh, and he always wife? thought I knew, and I never knew. Okay. Is he always okay? Nice okay. oh, free table, mate. Who do you think was her toughest, the richest of them? The richest of them, 100%. Oh, right. Hey, this one. Lovely, Tony. Lovely, brilliant. I met the Adams in the jail. What do you mean, Terry Get real, you know, they're, they're bad boys, but they just didn't get on with me, yeah? No. What colour am I now? You're a white bloke. <laughs> no, I think that. My spot's Shot. Fucking hell, mate. Oh. Being a gangster is not actually what you know or what you can do, it's who you know. Yeah? And in, in no other walk of life is it more important than the crime world, that it's who you know, like, if you can beat me up, but I can ring someone up to shoot you, I'm tougher than you, ain't I? Yeah. Yeah, so they call me the yellow pages of crime because I know every fucker. Right. So that makes me a bit scarier than yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right, next one. Um, were your family religious and do you believe in God? And if you believe in God, why, etc., etc. Yeah, cool. Uh, my family were religious, yeah, and my mum and dad were coven scout leaders. We went to church every single Sunday. Yes, I believe in God, but I do not actually advocate it or, or try to 
promote the fact that I do because I'd make it look I was being it was a mockery to the actual religion itself. But I do believe in God. Uh, but uh, um, believing in God doesn't necessarily mean I have to run by the whole book. Yeah. 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 I do yeah. believe in God. I don't believe in Adam and Eve. I do believe there was dinosaurs. I don't believe he opened the sea. But I believe in God. Yeah. You understand? You understand what I mean? So I don't believe in the whole book. And if you're reading about Dave Courtney, you shouldn't believe the whole book. Yeah. Most of it's true, but some of it is shit. Yeah. yeah. Same as that book. Yeah. It, you know. I agree with you. Um, right. Um, yeah. Right, thank you. Who was the hardest man you have ever met, apart from yourself? Um, I'm not an old man. I've got a scary phone book, I told you. I'm not an old man. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> listen, listen. It, hard actually means um, in different aspects. If you're talking about who's the best fighter, mm. yeah, if that's what you mean by hard, I'd say Lenny McLean was the best doorman fighter in a club doorway versing yeah, yeah. the odds against you, six or seven people, he was the best fighter I'd ever seen. Okay. There's other people that is mentally hard. You know, people yeah. that are doing 30 years in prison and <sighs> handling it properly. That's a mm. fucking hard man. Yeah? Someone that has had three sons killed in the war. Yeah. Yeah? And still able to go to work and um, act normally. That's a fucking hard man. So yeah. I've got different categories of our man for different things, if you understand what I mean, yeah? Why did you get involved in the craze funeral? They asked me to. You know, right. I, I, didn't, I didn't beg for it, you know, I was actually doing things for the craze while I was in there. Yeah. And I was their legs and arms while I was actually in prison for the last 15 years of their life. And somebody, when Ronnie Cray died, rung the funeral parlour and went, we're going to come and burn it down, not everyone's a Craytorin fan. We we're going to come and burn the funeral parlour down. They didn't know what to do. Rung Reggie and told him about the threat. Reggie rung me and went, would I go and sleep in the funeral parlour? Yeah. I went, yes. And while I was sleeping in there for the two weeks, they realised how big it was going to be. And they went, we need security for this. Right. So I ended up doing the biggest funeral since Lady Day, you know, like yeah, yeah. three quarters of a million people. Yeah. And what I thought was going to actually enhance my security company and help my life out doing the mm. Crater Funeral. It actually brought me to the attention of the general public and of the authorities. And because I had a hand-picked 150 men of what I thought were yeah. the tastiest army I could possibly get, Mr. Glasgow, Mr. Newcastle, Mr. Liverpool, Mr. Manchester, because I had that to, to, as my company to do that day's work. Yeah. It was the first sign of organised crime, yeah? criminal getting all the other criminals in England to come down to London to celebrate the life of a criminal yeah. Yeah, it, it, and, it, and it actually destroyed me it, it fucked me so making did, myself that public did you know the craze before that funeral <laughs> yeah I said I was yeah. working for them yeah, for yeah. 15 years while I was in prison okay. how many people did you allegedly murdered without I wouldn't have the foggiest idea you wouldn't know Okay. Well, they're not going to tell me, are they? No, they're they're fucking murder, no. No, 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 no. Right. Um, if the craze were alive today and you fell out with the craze, who would win? Me. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm fucking telling you, yeah. mate. The no, craze no. twins were fucking tasty 60 years ago in East London, yeah, yeah. where there was only 15,000 people in East London and all of them spoke and understood English. Right now, there's 250,000 people living in East London, and half of them can't even say the name Cratwit. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. And they would not fucking sit there and be scared of two <laughs> cocksucking fucking yes. little geezers, yeah? yeah, yeah. So, and if they fell out with me today, I would shoot them yeah. and have them yeah. killed. And there's no way in the world that two, you know, you can't put them in the same category as a bunch of fucking English mm. gangsters, because yeah. they are nothing like us. No. Yeah? yeah? Running East London at the time was fuck all. Now the Polish wouldn't listen to him, the Indians wouldn't listen to him, the Jamaicans wouldn't listen to him, the, yeah, the Kosovans wouldn't, no one would listen to him. So, like, they'd come fucking unstuck if yeah, they fell out of me. Albanians. <laughs> and Albanians. And Albanians. Yeah. Um, sorry, have you ever met any of the royal family? Have I met any of the royal family? Um, no, but it all depends on who you call the royal family. Yeah, nice yeah, I'm talking about <laughs> Freddie Foreman, Lenny yeah, McLean, Royce yeah, yeah. Your, Charlie Bronson, they're my royal family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, um... Da, 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 da. Go on, you stand there, mate, sorry. Do you have any party tricks? 
<laughs> Don't be a cunt. <laughs> That's what he says. Um, I could knock you out with one shot. I know. I know. <laughs> As a little party trick, if you want. Um, so, yeah, do you have any anxiety? Any? Anxiety. Like when you step outside of. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm Dave 24 yeah. hours a day, and I'm lucky enough, thank you, God, that I've never had a. I've never understood the, what panic done or anxiety. Yeah. I feel the same. And I treat you the same, oh, sir, yeah. as my best friends, as my mum, as my children. I treat you exactly the same. And I'm the same every day, so I haven't got any anxiety. That's yeah, That's I'm good. lucky like that. When was the last time you cried? When my son was murdered. Oh, dear. Um, sorry to hear that. That's all right. So was he. Yeah. Um, do you have any nightmares? No. I cause nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. I'm lucky. When I shut my eyes, I do not remember anything until I open them in the morning. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Please let me do this, Lee. What was uh, Howard Marks like in real life? Howard Marks was, was what got me into doing one-man shows and all that. I went yeah. to go and see him talking, and Howard Marks and me went travelled the world doing shows. He was a very intelligent... Um, I suppose you'd have to call him criminal, but he looked at himself as a salesman. Yeah. He never carried a gun, never had a fight, never hit anyone, didn't like violence. He didn't consider himself a gangster at all. He was a, mm. a clever businessman, yeah, a, a, an Oxford graduate, yeah, yeah. yeah, that got on with the president of the country and all that. And when he was caught, he was caught with fixed 56 ton of puff. How fucking funny is that? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you something he said to me once, our marks. Right? Here's a little, it's, it's, this is how clever he is. If you're a drug dealer, your biggest enemy in the world is a police dog. Mm. Once they kick your door down, once that dog goes in your house, it, if you could have your house clean, but that police dog will run round and go and find a bit of puff in your turn up, a bit of puff in your a fucking yeah. waistcoat pocket. You've had it to a clean fucking four times under the settee, and they squeeze it together and find half ounce. So that police dog's nose is fantastic. So that's yeah. your worst enemy. If you want to go and fuck a police dog, you can go to any zoo any zoo in the world and go and buy one novel of lion's shit. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that to yeah. me, yeah, don't. I'm just saying, I'm like, what you got to do is go to any zoo and they will give you it. They've got fucking tons of it. They throw it away every day. And if you sprinkle that on your doormat, you can't see it, you can't smell it and all that, but before a police dog ever comes in your house, it will go, 18 stone cat. Fuck off! <laughs> right? And that will not run round your house yeah. looking for puff. Because before it comes in, it goes, right? And it's a cat that eats beef, right? right? And it will not be able to, to function properly. <laughs> right, I'm just telling you something. It's yeah. a fact. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a God's honest truth. All right, thanks. And that me. is how clever and funny he was. Yeah, good. Right, um, have you ever been on a ghost hunt? No. Oh, it's a shame because we do ghost hunts. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like, would you like to come on a ghost hunt? If, if... Uh, oh, I might do, yeah, if it was not enough. Things like that freak you out? No, no, they don't freak me out, but I wouldn't, I just, I wouldn't know to play the Ouija board. I don't know why. Uh, so it's yeah, but do you know what? When you turn the lights uh, out, yeah, no matter where you are, it's going to be fucking scary. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because creeps and... Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, I let them in nice, it's perfect. Yeah. Say a prayer. Just say so protect yourself so nothing gets inside of you. Right, I want something inside of me, actually. I Turn the glass upside down. Put I got a glass little it. tiny little glass, like that, have fingers on the glass, and start cooling it out. That's how it works. Yeah, where's the glass? Where? Are you catching this? Are you going to do this, Tom? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just a tiny glass. Get Dave along, see, it. we might get him. I know, Dave gets freaky about this, he just told me. Right, come on in. Let's see if it's all right to do it in his house, but no one Yeah, you like. Right, need upside down glass. Little, little, um, little yeah, one. Right, place your finger on it. I'm going to call out to the spirits above. Please protect everybody on this board. Please, can you spell out your first name? Spell your first letter of your surname. You're touching that fucking glass, I can feel it. Who is? Don't. I, I, I thought you had to. I thought you had to, bud. No, you don't touch it. It's meant to move on its fucking own. Uh, my fingers on the glass lightly. Spell your surname kindly. Listen to my voice. Spell your surname. 
I command you to come forward. Bit to, yeah, I think he's fucking got better things to do. He's down in the club. Listen, listen, listen. Don't push down listen. too hard. Don't push down too hard. <laughs> hold it, boys. Just hold it lightly. I'm, I'm, only touching, I'm only touching it lightly, boys. Right. Can you move the glass? If you can hear me, can you move the glass to your first letter of your surname? Can't you ask him to do better Tom. stuff? Like give me special powers or Tom, something. Don't do it. Think about it, boys. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, he's done that. Come on. See if we can get anybody. Come on, come forward. Use the first letter of your surname. If you're connected to anybody on this board, please use your first letter of the surname on this glass. Move the glass for them. Use the energy. Come forward. Come on. Move. Nah, you have to do it. He's that way. Come forward. And spell your surname. But nothing's gonna happen. Just put your little finger on, like that. Little, little finger. Why don't push down? Don't push down. Right, I'm calling spirits in this room to come forward. Don't harm anybody. Don't interfere with anybody. Please spell your surname. Who is connected to this board? Come on. <laughs> oh, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It doesn't work. I've Come on. Loads of time. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Come forward. Um, no. What's this? Fuck off. Yes, that? Thank you very much. S, write it down. Is that you, Tom? No, I ain't. What's that saying? S? Tom. Down. What's the next one? <laughs> Tom. Is that you, Tom? Right. Swear. Are you sure, bud? Yeah. Swear more, Tom. No. Yes. <laughs> no, hey. Tom, swear my life. Tom, oh, yeah. hey. Tom. Yeah, man. It, 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 What's that? Oh. Uh, S-I. Let go, Tom. Oh, okay. So. What's that mean? Oh, it means this. What, you're not doing that, Tom? No. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
play my music as loud as I fucking would. Let's get one thing straight. I'll play my fucking music as loud as I fucking want. What, 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 what. How did I get to meet Dave? Dave, well, funny enough, it's a, it's a, it's a really interesting story. Um, I was on Invicta at the time, mm. Invicta FM, and I got a letter from Sorry. Reggie, Reggie Craig. <laughs> and nice Reggie wrote to, to me and sent me a video to go down and meet him. So I went down there and I thought, OK, I'll go and see him. So, and then he told me about this new book that he had written, his first book that, that Reggie Craig ever wrote. And in fact, if you look in his book, at the back of his book, about page 386, if I remember correctly, he actually says, Richard Craig says, I've only got five friends in this world. And it's in black and white. Mm. He said, um, my brother, Roddy yeah, yeah. and Charlie, yeah. Tony Lambriano, yeah. he said, Dave Courtney, and Caesar the Geezer, or Caesar the Boogeyman, as I was going there. <laughs> so, yeah. And then one day I went down to visit him again, and Dave Courtney was there. And we got chatting, and we all sat there, and we talked. Then he came out and then he contacted me, we got in touch, and then I invited him to the studio at uh, Cap uh, not Capital, it was Kiss First. Mm. Uh, and then we had a little chat on the air, and then I went to Capital Radio, then I went to Talk Radio, which is the national station. That's where you met my uncle, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. yeah. Talk, and then yeah. I brought him there, uh, and I brought Dave there, and we started talking, and then I started bringing him once a week, because he's a really funny man. When he's on air, he's yeah. actually a very funny man. Yeah. Yeah. He's hilarious to say the word I mean he comes up with his one liners and I used to take life calls mm. and the one liners he used to come out with I mean he was absolutely brilliant amazing and I'm going to start again in May on another national station uh, which, which I, can't, I can't name it unfortunately uh, but it's a national radio big station ones, yeah, it's a big one very good yeah like talk radio yeah yeah uh, whereas Talk Radio lost their bottle and then they went to sports. Because you were the first, uh, basically you were the first shock jock, right? Yeah, yeah. still am uh, the only shock jock in the UK. Because I used to listen, listen to Rod Lucas. Yeah, yeah. I remember Rod Lucas from when you were a kid. Yeah, and um, now I listen to LBC. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I turned down LBC. Yeah, yeah. Not my cup of tea. So the name's Wolfie Fox, though. Uh, I'm more mod than you know. Uh, I, I love the, the twins. Uh, I've got their history. I used to um, write to them many years ago and I used to write back. Se several letters and Christmas cards from the Grey Twins and that. And that's how I sort of got involved in the, uh, the whole um, London gangster thing. Well, I met Dave uh, through a friend of mine, uh, Mitch Pyle, uh, which is uh, the son of Joey Pyle. Um, and I met them through an old friend of mine, Tony Class, who's a famous mod DJ. We used to DJ together a little bit, you know, so uh, it was one of them things. And, and when he died, when Tony Class died, um, Mitch Pohl and, and the gang were there, so uh, and they introduced me to them, and uh, and that was about four years ago. So ever since then, you know, we've become friends, and I've been invited round to uh, Camelot Castle, and the rest is history, as you say, you know. But uh, it's been a great ride, you know, and uh, I'm looking forward to it for carrying on. It's going to be like a roller coaster, uh, and I love roller coasters. So yeah, man, that's how I met Dave the first time. I know. Let me yeah, take a picture. Cool. Are you inside?